Hi. How's it going? Doing great. Um, just want to say, love your show, Dr. Drew and Steve-O. I totally love you. You are awesome. Um, I just had a couple questions. My main question was, is it weird for a guy to just, like, not beat off at all and, like, think Hold on, Mike, close my shade. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Mike, close yours. Mike, what? Hold on, no, I, I heard her. Mike, Mike. I heard what she said. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, what? You just said ne- never, ever? Well, like, has done it before, but just, like, thinks it's super weird, like, definitely yeah. prefers sex more. I mean, like, <gasps> Aurora, stop it. Stop now, stop now. Oh, I'm going into seizure. <laughs> You are just, you are, you are literally, it's, you know how in, in vampire movies, what happens if you hold a cross in front of a vampire? This is what's happening to Psycho Mike. I'm out of breath. He's He's dying. I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. This is, this is a topic that uh, you can't tolerate too much. Just how old is this man? Shh, shh. Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. He's 19. Mike, Mike, relax. Take care of yourself. All right. All right. Okay, there you go. All right. Good. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's unusual. That's unusual. Is it? Yeah. Is he okay? What about weird? No, I'm, I'm totally okay. I just, I mean, it's cool with me that he definitely likes sex more because, I mean, I love sex and so does he. But I just, I was wondering if it was weird or like not normal because most of the guys think? that is, I is know. Is he just having so much action that he doesn't need to? to no, uh, no it's, the, it's super weird. It doesn't matter how much ass you're getting. When you're alone, you're bored, there's nothing better than beating off. I. I really, there's no relationship to getting ass as far as me beating up. Now, I know I may be on, a, on the extreme end, so let's talk to Mr. O. Steve, is there uh, something weird about a young 18, 19-year-old man that doesn't like to beat off? Well, uh, if, if you've got your girlfriend there at all times and... Maybe as a series of them, a run of them. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, you know, like, I mean, if, if I've got a hot chick that I could be boning... Hey, you know, will, will I be sneaking a load out in the bathroom? Probably not. I'll probably be boning the chick. Um, yeah, but he actually thinks it's weird. He's done it before and does not like to beat off. That's, that's a little weird. Yeah. Well, it sounds well, like I mean, much more of a preference issue. And it's like the fact that he doesn't even like to watch porn, really. Like, I'm the one. Oh, no, shh. Aurora, watch it. Be careful. Mike's, Mike is going to lose the, it. Is he also a Nazi? Because, <laughs> I mean, from all I hear, he's a terrible human being. <laughs> Mike, just hear it. Is he an Al-Qaeda? No. Oh, my God. What a weirdo. Um, it sounds like this guy's just saying that, you know? Yeah. Like, like he's he's one of these, probably like a major, like, jock mentality kind of dude. So he's like, or does no, he he's like, I don't beat off. I, I, like, I kind of get a lot of pussy all the time, does you know? He have, does he have, was he shamed about this crap? A strongly religious background or something that makes it difficult for him? Not at all. Not at all. Hey. Like, you're very sexual people, you know what I mean? Like, well, maybe that freaked do it anywhere, any time type of people. He just doesn't beat off. Okay, well, th- I'm going to say this. You are one lucky lady. Yeah, look, don't sweat it. It's probably not that big a deal. It's not pathological. It's crazy in my eyes, but it's if it, if it works for him, it's not. Yeah, he's not a serial killer. He just doesn't like the whack. He's probably uh, hiding in the closet, jacking off constantly, and he's just saying that he's not. But so whatever, it's well, all good. We've been together for almost three years, so I mean, and we lived together for a long time, so I mean, Aurora, I never Aurora, Aurora. you're 16. You were you went, moved in with a guy when you were 16. Um. Well, I've been out of my parents' house for a really long time, so yeah. Why? Been okay. So 17. This is more what you should be concerned with, not the fact yes. that your boyfriend doesn't like to watch porn. Why? What happened to your family wars and what happened there? Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's weird at all. I was just wondering. What happened with your it's family? Really, it is. What happened with my family? Yes, you moved out at 16. That's terrible. Well, I moved out when I was 14. That's but, worse. I mean, that's a whole different story. Well, it's not so whole different. It means everything about who you'd be attracted to, why you're hypersexual, all that good stuff. <laughs> I guess it could mean that. Right. No, it doesn't. It could mean. That's where it comes from. But anyway, let's move on. I lost my virginity. All right, Aurora, look, it's not a big deal that he doesn't like to beat off. It's just him, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Shannon? Yeah. You're on with Mr. Stebo. What's okay. up? Hi. Um... So I have a question. I have, um, I'm in a great relationship with a great guy, um, but I've always kind of really liked being dominated. Um, like, complete, like some people 
what we do, some people will consider would be kind of a little too far. Um, but like when I was growing up, my relationship with my parents was great. Um, I can't think of, there's one instance that I might think was questionable, it was, but it was when I was examined by a doctor. I was Ooh, a little kid. what happened? Um, I was, I mean, it was just a physical. This, this doctor had been my doctor since I was born. Uh, my mom was there with me at the time, and I just, like, felt completely uncomfortable, and she's like, it's okay, the doctor, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I know... What like, happened? Uh, well, he just, he examined me, looked at my vagina, my anus, um, and then was like, okay, you are healthy, put your clothes on. And my mom was there, I was crying, but she was like, it's okay, you know. How old were you? Huh? How old were you? Oh, I want to say like in third or fourth grade, probably third grade. And it was, did, he, did he do a manual exam on you, like a pelvic exam? No, like nothing went inside. He just like spread my butt cheeks and then put them back. Um, All right. Then. So you were already kind of hypersensitive about that kind of thing? Not at the time. Like, not before that, I wasn't really, like, I don't remember having any other All right. bad experiences. Anyway, what's happened these dominating experiences? What, what are you guys doing? Uh, well, so, like, he'll choke me or, like, hold me down. Um, Did you ever have any major major accidents or illnesses growing up? Not growing up. The only thing that did happen is my brother killed himself when I was 15. Ooh, but, I was, but I was already doing those behaviors, though, before that happened. And what's up with him? Uh, it, was, it was just completely, like, it was really weird. His uh, girlfriend dumped him, and it, he was a great student. He was, nobody expected it. Um, wow. Just, yeah. But I would yeah. say that there's probably more going on in your family than you, than you realize. I mean, that's not, that's not, you know, maybe not, but it, it sort of, it's, it's all very suspicious. And, okay. and, and, and Shannon, uh, this re is regarding you, but also uh, for everybody out there, Dr. Drew, don't you feel like... Um, if there is other things under the surface uh, going on with your family, it's it's hard to talk about. I mean, even well, you don't realize even it, with people it, you really care about, it's just not something it, you they don't even realize. It's like like asking a fish, "How's the water today?" And they go, "What's water?" Right. You know, they don't, because they, that's all you know. It's how you're culture swimming in the world. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I have a great relationship with my mom and my dad now, and I was really wondering if if I continue to do this, is it gonna maybe have harmful effects in the future because we're both like on the same page we have a safety word and everything like that i mean it's not that big a deal unless you okay. unless he unless he kills you yeah. well, uh, no i can it, i can only breathe it's just like the hand around the throat it actually. sounds it sounds like you're you're going about it the right way but yeah just be careful when you're whenever you're asphyxiating each other i mean that's always and, yeah. and, and the one thing oh, i was yeah. what I, the road i was going down was were you ever on painkillers for an extended period of time because sometimes that changes the biology a little bit where you more, more levels of arousal. No? No, but I was on, uh, or I am on um, uh, Ritalin. Oh, well, again, uh, Shannon, Jesus. Uh, and that That's something that can affect your sexuality, too. I mean, dude, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. You know, you come in <coughs> with the, uh, everything's perfect, everything's great, absolutely normal, and, and then one thing after another, major psychiatric conditions are, are sort of peeling away here. So uh, you might want to take a little more objective look at things.